All right, guys, so let's get this chicken prepped so we can get it onto our uh, pit barrel cooker here for this cook today. All right, so I've got some leg quarters here that I just got from my uh, local grocery store, and that's what we're gonna use. Uh, nothing fancy. Uh, some of this excess skin that you see here, I'm gonna go ahead and kind of cut this away. Most of these are, are okay, so. Okay, now that we got this chicken uh, trimmed up a little bit, we just cut away a little bit of the excess fat. We're gonna go ahead and get it seasoned up. And I'm gonna keep it simple today. I'm gonna use uh, my old uh, SPG here that I put together. So we're gonna get some of this on. Okay. Now that we got that SPG on, we're gonna come back with some good old fashioned Dirty Bird, Cosmos Dirty Bird. Now, as I said, we're gonna actually put these leg quarters on our pit barrel cooker, so I'm gonna go ahead and get these hooks put on them. I'm just kind of going right, right in behind that bone here, right up by the thigh. Right in there. Push it through, and that way we can hang it. Show you again here, you can feel that bone right in here. We're gonna push that hook right in between there and we're good to go. All right, so now we got our chicken trim, we got it seasoned, we got our hooks on. So it's time for us to get it over to the pit barrel cooker. So let's go put it on the cooker guys. All right guys, so let's recap what we got going on here. Today, we did some leg quarters on our pit barrel cooker. We took our leg quarters, we seasoned it up with our own S&P, our own salt and pepper blend, and we added some Cosmos Dirty Bird. So uh, we got this chicken seasoned up, we got it on our pit barrel, we got it going with this B&B charcoal and some hickory wood, and man, this is gonna be some good chicken off of this pit barrel cooker. So we're gonna go ahead and get this chicken off here in a little bit. We're gonna pull the chicken and we're gonna make some pulled chicken sandwiches off the pit barrel cooker. Yeah, buddy, good eating is gonna happen here, all right? So y'all stick around. I'm gonna let this chicken finish up. We'll get it off this pit barrel and get this sandwich going, all right?
gang, hey, we got our chicken off of our pit barrel cooker, and all I'm doing is just pulling it off the bones, getting all of this meat off the bones, uh, so we can uh, put it in the sandwich here in a little bit. But uh, that's what you see me doing here, is just continue to pull all this meat off the bone, guys. All right, guys, so we got all of this meat pulled off of the leg quarter bones. So we got all of this nice chicken meat here. So all I'm gonna do now is just we're gonna come back with our Cosmos. We're gonna sprinkle a little bit more Cosmos on top of this and just kind of mix it through just to help bring in a little bit more of that uh, barbecue flavor. And now we have this chicken ready to go. We're gonna go ahead and assemble a sandwich. All right guys, so we're gonna go ahead and assemble a sandwich here and it's gonna be very simple. I'm gonna keep it to our bun, some bread, some pickles, and some uh, pickled onions. And we'll put a little bit of barbecue sauce on top of it, but let's go ahead and get this sandwich put together. So I've just got a regular old hamburger bun, sesame seed hamburger bun here. And what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna put a few of these pickled onions here on the bottom. Gonna follow that up with a little bit of this chicken. Just cause I like a lot of chicken on there. And we're gonna come back with a little bit more. Actually. So now I've got some spicy pickles that I really like. So I'm gonna put a little bit of uh, spicy pickle on here. Just gonna slice some of this up a little bit. And then we're gonna come back with a little bit more of our pickled onions. And guys, if you don't know how to make pickled onions, uh, I'll, put a, uh, I'll put a link to a card up there. I think it's gonna be over there. But I'll put a link to a card up there so you guys can go ahead and uh, make these pickled onions yourself. And then I'm gonna keep it simple. I'm gonna go with a store-bought uh, barbecue sauce that you guys can get. It's Head Country. Apple habanero. So we're going to put a little bit of that on. And that's going to be our chicken sandwich, guys.